Making decisions in silos is challenging for any product organization. That's why AirFocus's Priority Poker is a fun, interactive, and inclusive way to prioritize together using the expertise of cross-functional teams. The game consists of key stakeholders giving their thoughts on the potential impact and effort of items, allowing them to weigh in collectively. This removes bias and opens up your product process, making it a lot more transparent. Let's dive into the details in our Voom demo workspace. In AirFocus, we have different tools to help you prioritize, including the Priority Ratings app and Priority Poker app, which work well together to allow you to make the right decisions. With the Priority Ratings app, you can set up a customizable prioritization framework with custom factors and custom criteria. This is covered in another video. Today, we will look at the Priority Poker app, which is built upon the Priority Ratings app. You can see there's a few items like push notifications that have not been rated yet. In order to get your team aligned, let's use Priority Poker to rate this item collectively and make sure everyone understands the problem to be solved and the potential priority this has against other items in your backlog. To start, you'll need to create a game. In this example, the game is called the Voom Priority Poker Game. You have now entered the game as a game owner. As the first step, select the items you want to play. Then, you can invite players by clicking here. People can join in from their mobile phones with a QR code. You can also send around a link for others to join. When inviting players to the game, you can limit their permissions to define which criteria they should be allowed to rate. For example, Ernie from the marketing department is now being invited. Ernie is not a developer so he cannot make an estimate on how much effort is required. That's why we're going to take away his ability to estimate the criteria team effort here, which means that he cannot rate it at all. Let's also invite Courtney. She has permissions to all criteria. Now you're ready to kick off the game. Invited players can now provide their rating estimations. You can choose between two playing modes real-time, which is a live session, or asynchronous, in which players can play at their own time. For example, you can set your game up on Monday and give the players time to respond until Friday when you close and review the results. For this video's purpose, we will play the game as a live session. Let's get started. To have a live session, simply click on the arrow here and click Start Live Session. Notifications will then pop up on Ernie and Courtney's browsers asking them to join the game. In a live session, you can control which items to play. For this game, everyone including yourself will rate push notifications. As you can see now, all players are rating in real time. Once the players are done with all the ratings for this item, it will be indicated with a check mark here. You can then lock the item and show the results. Now it's about reviewing the result and setting a final rating. In the results, you can clearly see who rated what and the discrepancies between the ratings. You can see the minimum and maximum ratings here, an agreement value, and also the rating distribution chart. It seems like the team doesn't have an agreement on value, which means you can discuss about it and find a compromise for that. AirFocus proposes an average for each criteria value, but of course, you can always change and overwrite it. Once you're done, set the final rating, which will send the item to the prioritized section. Let's go back quickly to the backlog. You can now see that Party Poker changed the prioritization ratings and scores for push notifications. And that's Party Poker for you. Happy prioritization.